and I'm gonna send the 50 seconds of logos, of course. But I'm also gonna take the time to send this dumb smashed up S and T in the word sister here. I'm sure there's some dumb story about why it's supposed to be that way, or some dumb reason some dumb executive thought it looked cool, but it isn't. It's dumb. It looks ugly. It looks like a mistake. I hate it. What's up with movies thinking tech companies design completely impractical buildings like this? Why does this path to the big bubble wind around the lake instead of going straight towards it? Why is there all this wasted space inside the bubble? Why put it on a dam in a lake in the first place? You can make fun of the Apple Park ring building all you want, but that thing was designed for efficiency and workflow, not masturbatory aesthetics. <laughs> Well, at least the animation on these characters looked pretty good for 2005. What's that? This came out in 2021? Oh, dear God, no! My garage, folks. My garage. I mean, you can act surprised at all, Mark, but clearly he was supposed to say this at this time, since the sound person had his invisible mic on and turned up for it. Also, who is at this release? Usually these things are reserved for the press, investors, and maybe a couple of celebrities, but this is a crowd of maybe 10,000 or so people, mostly children, who, what, bought tickets? Won a lottery? Were easiest for the computers to render? Of course, yes! Andrew. Discount Steve Jobs. My algorithm for friendship. Well, it used to be yours. Now it's on the screen, so everybody has it. I love coo? Maybe you should love distinguishing your O's from your D's. This very popular and highly specific repetitive beard pattern. So on the one hand, we have technology so advanced that an AI robot can find friends for you. But on the other, no one has created cell phones that can record clear images in low light mode. An app dedicated entirely to the monkey. This coding is basically just repeating paragraphs, and I don't care how many times you tell me, I refuse to believe there is anyone who likes both vegetables and chocolate. Not a single person has existed with those qualifications. Not one! Also, hair dark? Is red hair dark hair? I thought red hair was its own special category, like unicorns. Infinite downloadable skins! No, not infinite. The possibilities might be infinite, but there are not infinite skins currently ready to be downloaded, unless you said infinite sins, which, by the end of this, seems much more possible. You can be anything in the world? No. Let's make friends! With nature! Because nothing is outside of Bubble HQ but trees and bears! Yay! I mean, why have the handprint outline on the robot if it doesn't matter if the hand stays in the print? And the director said, let's put an apple in the lunchbox in case feeding him a chicken claw for a snack wasn't sign enough that Gran is an asshole. Selfies! No, you're taking pictures of each other. Those are not selfies. Words mean something, damn it! The robot stops the little person from walking when it's unsafe, then creates a pedestrian walkway wherever it wants to. Did the bubble company work with the local government to redefine jaywalking or something? The movie thinks that we needed to see this underwater 3D immersion moment with the B-Bot to really showcase how cool the bots are and how sad it is that Barney doesn't have one. But in reality, all the adults are wondering why Barney would go down the embankment under the bridge and then back up the embankment to get to the bridge again, to go over the bridge to go to town to get to school. We're good, Barney. Just go to school. We didn't need to see the 3D water thing. We're good. Ah, uh, seriously? I know, right? They don't come with protective outer boxes. You're transporting them loose in the back of a van, and the van's back door just happened to come open so the plot could start? So crazy, huh? Look left, Ethan. Right. Now let us cross. The entire street is filled with children crossing the road. There's no look left, look right when you are surrounded by a crowd of people who are already crossing the road. These robots are bad at context clues. Right. Now let us cross. To the dark side! Disney whips out their eye penis and waves it around in a movie they now own cliche. Where's the camera that is shooting this angle? If it were on the bot, we'd be getting double chin and nasal cam for sure. This section of the school is relatively empty until the movie needs to point out that Barney's really awkward. And then it packs in children and robots to immediately judge him for extra emphasis. I'm in your shot. Uh, that's so sweet, but I have a filter for that. But you're already streaming live. Does your filter travel back in time too? This basketball court only has one hoop, even though it's a full court paint job. And there's not even a hole on the other side where it should be. It was never there. Why paint the whole thing if you're only putting up one hoop? I forgot my, uh, inhaler. Got it. You need to sit down. Sitting down does not solve an asthmatic attack, even a fake one. This adult should be fired from adulting. Hugging a child with your breasts without consent. What is this dinosaur doing to this other dinosaur, and why do they look so happy about it? This is a kid movie, you pervs! Also, looking over the stall wall for any reason whatsoever. This is not how you space your computers if you're trying to work. This is how you space your computers if you're trying to make sure you have a clear sight line to the camera angle for when you talk to your son, who just got home from school. Standing in the doorway, you left open, while in the midst of an important video chat. I always strive to send beaded curtains. It brings me comfort. 
hanging your laundry directly above where you prepare and eat your food. If a birthday candle can ignite a tablecloth this quickly, they really should stop dousing the fabric of lighter fluid. I find it hard to believe that a robot, which has been programmed for perfect friendship, does not have a warning system in place for bullying. These robots are not only helping a child become isolated, but they are also videoing the taunts and rejection for live entertainment. You want iPod hot chicken back down your pants? This is a very specific and unsettling threat that Gran casually makes to children here, and I'm giving Gran a warning sin. We're watching you, Gran. If his mom were alive, she'd have known that. We got a dead parent in a kid's movie cliche. I throw in goat. Goat for the bee pot. Why is the goat in the truck at all? Does it go everywhere with them as a possible form of payment? Is it like me and my wallet? Do they ever get halfway to the Best Buy and realize they forgot it at home and curse for the next five minutes as they turn around to go back and get it? Ah, that one fell out of my van earlier. Which of course means I'm just going to leave it by the side of the road or some sh so someone could easily snag it. Yeah, I thought it was weird too, but apparently the company just doesn't care, or even ask any follow-up questions. I might even sell it to this dad staring wistfully at me so he can take it home to his kid and hijack it into. It's a level 50 <laughs> Easter egg, man. You're mine for an hour. Level 50 assholes who steal your bubble bot because tech assholes somehow thought device theft was a feature, not a crime. Man is 78, a former anti-communist. Oh sure, this B-bot malfunctions on almost every level, but the exposition chip appears to be clearly intact. This extremely normal plate being displayed as if it were decorative. Once I mend my own hernia with bread knife and vodka. Rose is pulling my head off! Which is really strange, considering Ron's little paddle arms appear to be attached to Rich's hat. Not only does no one see Barney doing this somehow, but this door apparently went with eye scanners as its single security measure as opposed to, you know, monitoring live cameras or something outside the box like that. Is anyone else concerned that the bubble store is a f***ing crusher built into the wall, just on and ready? And why is the room bathed in moody red light instead of proper lighting needed in a clearly important storage room? No! Crushing is not fun! It means smushed, flattened! Barney will now have to figure out an A word to get his row buddy to act, but Lego Joker Bebot has been understanding all sorts of non-A words. He knew what destroy meant just a few minutes ago. This infuriating dumbass stands directly in front of the escalator, which has both parties of interest ascending directly in front of him and manages to not see them. Space! Final Frontier! Leaping into a hole in the floor with a 20-foot drop just because you like Star Trek. Really? None of the adults notice a bebot sized bulge in Barney's backpack. Driving down the center of a goddamn road. I designed them in my garage for making friends into dollars. If our share price goes any higher, we'll have to give it a spacesuit. And if your naked villainy goes any higher, they'll need to give you a digital mustache to twirl. We can't put that on the box. No. Can we please stop saying box? There is no best friend out of the box when there is no box. Speedbots come in capsules. Are shapes that hard? We performed a complimentary in-store crushing. Complimentary? Are the in-store crushings usually a charge to the customer? What the f*** is that situation like? And where is that movie? A friend likes everything about you. I'm going to assume the movie addresses this absolute bullshit at some point, but just in case it's already f***ed a kid up, let's send this anyway. This printed map has waypoints with no descriptions. Man, I think we could have deduced this was a lake without the abstract water boat logo shape thing. This is the most unhelpful printed map since my high school anatomy textbook just labeled the female genitals as still a mystery. If you figure it out, let us know. Also using printed maps. This is not only a pretty aggressive move for your bishop, but considering you haven't moved the pawns necessary for the bishop to even escape, it's an impossible one. You can't move a bishop through a pawn. And you don't even have to have watched Searching for the Queen of Katwe's Gambit to know that. Why are adults clueless in kids' movies? He's sitting on a lit bench in a f***ing tool shed. Stop and talk to your kid. Why is don't let dad or grand see you tied to keep me company, which is underneath the don't section? Or why is hair color brown linked to like what I like? Okay, well now the only question I have is why Barney spells color with a U. This is the United States, Barney. You can't just go adding U's where they don't belong. Merka. Scratch his neck 14.5 times a day. Close, Ron. The ding goes after the sit. But yeah, 14.5 neck scratches does seem excessive, so I applaud the effort. That's Can I Confidently screaming the location of Savannah's house from your freaky spy perch. Run! I mean, he just did water. We've seen this before, and it's not like it was an issue at that time. Calm down and fish him out with a net. And naked? Ugh. Ron covers his shameful nakedness because somehow his coating came with the complex fruit of the knowledge of good and evil installed. The store made an error. They squished Sally Squirrel. No, no, no. They squished a bebot with an active Sally Squirrel skin that you just so happen to have in a box just sitting here waiting for the right moment to show them. Besides, these pieces look more scratched than crushed and for some reason have the Sally skin reapplied for comedic effect. They're 
having fun! Sure, but so are a lot of the other kids, too. This makes it seem like Mark's having this realization that fun was the outcome of not being connected to the internet. Technology can be both helpful or harmful. Just depends on how you use it. Andrew, I never programmed B-Bots to laugh. <laughs> well, that's kind of a huge oversight on your part. There are no friends in the shed. But there was a belt bag for reasons. There's no way this fat wiener dog ignores the toast. No way! So how did he pay for the paper? This board lists two as a prime number, but then also says that primes can't be even numbers. Which is it, discount Miss Frizzle? Which is it? Shane likes low-priced alcohol and conspiracy theories. He believes there's a secret lizard government beneath Switzerland. Finding out that the world is full of Shanes, and it's not really all that funny. Party, bro! As entertaining as this segment may be, there is no way these adults would follow a robot to a school playground with a stolen baby while completely avoiding suspicion from any number of adults nearby. Welcome! The mother isn't scaling a fence and beating the shit out of the people who kidnapped her child in this scene. Podowski! He said, who the f are you and why are you on private school property to the adult, strangely. I could get R-rated movies. Thinking an internet age middle schooler gives a shit about getting R-rated movies. Based on this line alone, I'm guaranteeing the writer of this movie is over 50 without even looking. My prank, Noah! Thanks for the ride! Oh, Rich, come back! Rich hijacks the mighty Morphin Voltron Kong simply because he exerts his will over it. So what's stopping the highly competitive Noah from doing the same? Everyone seems to have control of whatever bots in whatever way the plot needs. Who's lame now? <laughs> I love how this unlock code is transmitted accidentally through contact, like some sort of digital venereal disease. Can you imagine tech companies actually releasing unfinished code susceptible to this kind of security risk? Can you imagine every single tech company doing this all the time? Can you imagine it? <sighs> Honorary Jenner Savannah apparently has access now to the entire bubble network, which apparently she didn't before for some reason, but that results in her live viewers going up into the hundreds of thousands and then millions within just a few minutes. I mean, did it force this feed onto their machines? And even if it did, they all just happen to be in a time zone or situation where they can watch? It's Mad Max meets Sesame Street lives. Oh, come on. BattleBots was right there. So it's basically kind of the apocalypse, but fun. TikTok. <laughs> Attempted murder. As all of these B-Bots fall to the ground, some from as high as 40 feet or so, I'm reminded that our friend Ron was damaged immensely by falling out of a truck from the height of three feet, in his case. So all of these bots are damaged beyond repair, right? How can I put this gently? Get out! Ah, yes, you gotta love the way the adults handle issues in these movies. Blame the kids. Don't blame Bubble or the school's faulty bots on campus policy. Blame the odd kid. Maybe being a guy who makes his friends out of skateboards doesn't equip you to run a global tech giant. When your villain is making this much sense, and yet the movie seems to be unaware of it, that is a sit. We got an address from the school. The school is addicted to privacy. This sticker is still sticky, despite being stuck and unstuck on various things throughout this entire movie. The board or algorithm has been updated to stay with me, not if I've had a bad day, which is really not a great way to keep a friend. Honestly, it's just another example of how, upon close examination, not much of this movie makes sense. Especially the part where the bots are spying on kids to mine them for data to use for a profitable game. That would never happen. Father sees this board and gets sentimental instead of immediately realizing his son is a serial killer. Mark put a camera within six feet of every young consumer in the country. And now you're worried about privacy? This movie is about as subtle as a middle school pimple on picture day. On one end of his body, Barney is hanging by his toes from a log. On the other end, his hands are somehow gripping a smooth, cylindric surface covered in slippery mud. And physic be damned, he doesn't perilously fall into the doom pit and retrieves his robot pal, which is dumb. Bebop flies off a cliff into the water. Barney follows him, despite the very obvious rocks that are everywhere in this f***ing river. Barney has a death wish. How is this a kid's movie? <laughs> That's history. <sighs> Live footage of me trying to finish the damn movie somehow makes it into the damn movie. My goat eats your slap bracelet. So you're giving Poop Girl a slap bracelet that you dug out of goat sh years ago? That's just insensitive, Gran. And I think you know it. I swear some dark secret will come out about Gran someday, and I will not be surprised. I'm blowing it, Mom. Yeah, that's pretty clear considering you just walked away from an upset child without asking her, are you okay? A bird has commented on your face. And we will continue to comment on this movie by asking, how do you not know you have bird sh on your face? After my mom died, I was terrified every single night. But earlier you said... She died when I was two. And that... It doesn't make me sad, exactly, because I... I can't remember. So stop lying! Access the security cameras. There aren't any. It's the woods. Insane. Being this old and only just now realizing this. What dumbass installed a screen table button that will activate a rogue forest army mode when pressed? They should be immediately fired. In this universe, no one stays up late and looks out their window, so no one could see the bright four-lane parade wheeling back to town. No one. 
Somehow every bot can open doors with magical red beams of intention. Why is there mud on your wheels? Why haven't you told your bot to stop talking about being pooped out of a B-Bot Transformer Megazord gone wrong? Thinking that this amount of light would be visible like this from this distance during the light of day. We're not... not your friends? Using a double negative to obscure the fact that you're a liar! You literally taunted him while he was pooping, man. You are 100% not, not, not his friend. All the help seems to arrive very quickly. Too quickly. Far too fast. Much too much. Where are the children's parents? You heard my son. He needs to get to the cloud thing. Get it? Because no one over 40 understands how the cloud works. It's a really fresh take on aging and technology. The cloud is in a concrete fortress half a mile below bubble. There are two million servers with a zettabyte of data. How would you find Ron? Control F? How would you find Ron? He's my friend. Oh. Uh... Movie decides it's now a heist film, complete with the fumbling, bumbling entrance that should immediately fail but somehow doesn't because Bubbles employees willingly look past all suspicious behavior. <laughs> At some point while watching these movies, you just have to throw your hands in the air and say a laptop with a wacky electricity issue at one house can take down an entire building at another location and I'm okay with that because it means we're almost done with this movie and be okay with it. All the electricity goes out except for the spotlights because batteries, I guess? Oh good! The elevators are running on battery power as well! Very convenient. Just out of curiosity, what is this dozen rung ladder suspended hundreds of feet in the air used for when not needed for nefarious breaking and entering purposes? No movie would be complete without some sort of impossible third act force tension obstacle course for our main character to complete. Will he survive? I can't wait to... We found this goat in the electrics! And rather than let you know via phone, we're gonna drag the still-smoking creature into the room for dramatic effect! This scene will make it appear that in order for Barney to survive this, they just have to turn off the fan blades in time, completely ignoring that he could have easily titaniced his head on even a stopped propeller blade and would have died from the fall alone if he wasn't caught and coddled by some random physics-defying wires. I hate kids. Again, if you really want me to dislike your villain, maybe quit making him say such reasonable things. Find me, please. Oh, come on, movie! Are we just firmly going into magic now? This system is powered all the way down, and yet somehow because Barney is scared of the dark and Ron knows that, and somehow knows Barney is here, and that it's dark here, and has a way to independently produce light, he makes his location known? A location, I should mention, that is digital! F*** this noise and the binary code it forgot to write in on. What the f***? F***ity f***ing f***a to the f***ery Making your website a .org when you're clearly a .net. Upgrade all B-Bots to be like Ron? Oh, Ron's code! Uh, of course, his code is the fix to mine! I wonder if they even hired a technology advisor for this movie. And if they did, I wonder if the advisor just sat in the corner muttering obscenities and going slowly insane as the filmmakers ignored every single piece of advice they gave them. No, no way! You just copy your code and send that. The settings have not been uploaded. No, 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 his code is fragmenting. If you thought three bullshit force tension plot turns were enough, too bad. Here's a fourth where Ron all of a sudden has to sacrifice himself so that all the other B-Bots can live, like some sort of binary Christ bot, and the only explanation we will get for this blatant emotional manipulation is his code is fragmenting. Well, that went much faster than when the story needed Ron to dramatically linger just a moment ago. So, are all the new bots programmed with underwear in order to resist burning all the underpants? I guess Bubble couldn't be bothered to send Barney a complimentary Not Ron replacement buddy as a sign of appreciation for fixing their issues. What a bunch of dicks. Here we go again. It's gonna get weird. Indeed it is. And the weirdest part of the whole thing is that somehow the solution to invasive technology and shallow parasocial relationships is to have technology that does its own thing instead of what you ask it to do. Not only is that completely completely unrelated to the issue, but it's also the first step towards a time-traveling Schwarzenegger, and no one wants that. Aren't you that girl that got, you know, video not found? It's been three months. Everyone in the school would remember the day on the playground with or without a robot confirming things. She was pooped out of a robot sphincter for f**k's sake. What the f is the internet? No! No! Look away! <laughs> Make it no! Look away! <laughs> Maybe turn it off and on again. How the hell did you do that? I turned it off and on again. But you get to choose your friends, and you don't choose me. <laughs> I do, okay? I I choose you. You choo choo choose me? Fine. Go on then. Fine. See if I care. Bing bong Belushi. <laughs> Bing bong! We did it! We Bing bong? 
You have oh, zero wow, point seven friends. Oh, you're sinking, friend. You're sinking! Come on! Turn around! We'll cover security and, uh, stuff. Sweetheart, how many times have I told you? Don't say and stuff.